fashion. One of the most charming things about the Splatoon franchise, from hats to cool shoes, it's intriguing seeing what Splatoon players choose to equip their characters with, some of which being quite stylish. <laughs> And then there's players like this. I didn't know The Office did a collab with Samurai Jack, I'm sorry. Yeah, the host of the expedition has become a huge fashion critic as of late. Well, he's been taking a break from his main gig, and he's already a brutally honest kind of guy. That doesn't really make for a good combo at all. I'm a recent employee of his that has to save him from a lot of fights. So I'm his personal assistant, bodyguard, doctor, lawyer. The list just increases every day. Hold on, why are you wearing that headgear? Because just as I walked in the door for the interview, he called me a sentient durian. If I wanted any hope of getting the job, he said to wear this on my head. Plus, if he ever saw me without it, he said that he put my head in a blender. Oh, so you're one of them guys who uses the spiky haircut. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guy, be Eric, get this guy off me! I was trying to give him some criticism on his repulsive hippie shirt! <laughs> I'll be right back. As we move over to the Splatlands and get loads of new clothes, hairstyles, and eyebrows, we're gonna need to make sure that the gloves are turned up to the max. But where can you get these fresh accessories, you may ask? Well, at the moment, look no further than the shops. In these stores, one of which I actually used to work in myself under Jalfonzo's supervision, you can get hats, shirts, and even shoes. Some can be absolutely fabulous, while others are absolutely atrocious. The only thing uglier than these is the thing that sells them. Bisque your eyes look like the googly eyes on a fourth grade art project, and most of the folks outside would literally walk on hot concrete barefoot and buy what you sell. I would never have such a problem. How many products did you sell? That's not important right now. He spends so much time looking at the shoe's designs, he doesn't take into account that they're actually designed for certain things. Some help you walk more efficiently. Some make you track less enemy ink, and others allow you to break objects faster. Listen, I don't know what kind of voodoo they're designed with, I just reap the rewards. The clothes in these shops come from many different brands, most of which are confirmed to be returning in the Splatlands. There's Rockenberg if you want to wear cool, usually western-inspired gear like sunglasses, plaid shirts, and boots. There's Forge for people who want more sporty gear like football helmets, bomber jackets, and the seaweed shoes that, like, no one wears. And there's Tony Kensa if you want to get a kick out of laughing at people with PTSD and looking like someone from the bougie owning class while doing it. Hey boss, you still need to talk about the Amiibo brand too. It's pretty unique since you can't get those in shops. <sighs> There's also the amiibo gear if you enjoy the nostalgia from past Splatfest, or just looking like a moron. Hey now, those guys might be upset with you. There's a lot of people who wear those creepy little fish heads. Yeah, too many. Guys, we're at Inkopolis, not Disneyland or freaking Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. In addition to gear you can buy, some gear you can unlock by either going through this weird sewer line or into this mysterious subway. People who come out look so stupid though. The Kudo gear is definitely a D tier in the department design. Don't get me started on the hero jacket replica. How are you gonna be a hero crossing guard style? <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> hey, Mark Simpson, where are we going to next? I'll tell you in a minute, but first, sir, I have a challenge for you. What challenge are you proposing? Nothing much, just in this place, you can only say nice things about the clothes that it gives you. <laughs> that's easy. My intellect more than allows me to highlight at least something fashionable about every design choice. All right, then. So we'll be going to the Grizzco corner of the square next and showing off how awesome looking the gear is. Are you ready, boss? Oh no. Yeah, even I know the Grizzco gear doesn't look the best. If you want to look like a hard worker, then it's fine, but fashionable? Not necessarily. Uh, okay, so Grizzco mainly gives you gear to rep our lovely blue collar workforce. There's the beekeeper hat, the uh, garden gear, the flipper fluffers! Oh, there's cool things like the cap of legend from the plaza. Yeah, and there's also my iconic office attire for white collar representation. And what about the welding mask? It, it it's Freaking idiotic! People really start wearing this into a turf war match thinking, well, my gear is really on fleek. <laughs> you know, you look like a laid off welder who was given that mask in the mail instead of your last paycheck. How do you expect to see when your field of vision has been more harassed than a substitute teacher? If you guys think this is bad, just wait until you see him play other players online. It doesn't matter if you're with or against him, he'll roast you if he's in a sour mood that day. Okay, I haven't been my best today, but let's get ready to slay, team. We got nice glasses theme going for 
hours too. <laughs> oh nah, this guy's just blind on an acid trip. You had such a pretty black and white theme going and you tied it together with the LSD shoes of all things. I was so close. How did I die? Yeah, E is correct. God, I knocked those cheap sunglasses off your head. It's not like anyone ever looks through those things anyway. Oh, Sinex is an office vest enthusiast. Let's try and win this together, pal. Dang, worked hard for that vest too, but still connected to the Wendy's Wi-Fi down the street to play. It's a dang shame. Aw, oh, heck no. I just got killed by somebody's mom and I know it. No woman under the age of 30 picks that sweatshirt and hairstyle combo to wear in games. Man, how on earth can we lose that? All right, who didn't pull their- Okay, my B, my B, I'll take the blame for that. See, I'm a splash. I need to pay more for you guys, not be at the bottom. Please don't kill me. Yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Overall, the fashion of the Splatoon world is an interesting one filled with numerous different fashion choices. If you'd like to see more fashion or more of this lovely face, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. And that's a wrap, sir. But before I render this layer today, I wanted to tell you that not only are looks subjective, but some people may not completely be in it for the looks. As cliche as the phrase is, you should never judge a book by its cover. I'll have to digest all of that and see if I can apply it in the future. But while we are on the subject, you, you are, I, I'm what, sir? Not wearing the headgear is in your contract to wear, you quilled marshmallow. Nah, you know what? You thought it was an exaggeration? No, 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 no. we're no. doing this. No!